Welcome back, everybody. Today uh, we are just uh, going to just explore some uh, uh, just advice, or I want to share you some advice for students for exam preparation. How they are, you are going to prepare for your exam, right? Before and after, uh, before and during the exam, right? So. Here are just some important steps for student uh, preparation for an exam in more detail, so just follow every step uh, in detail, right? The first step is understand the exam format, right? Step one, understand the exam format. You have to study the exam syllabus to understand the topic and the concepts that will be covered, right? You have to know the exam patterns, including the number of sections, duration, and uh, just mark the allocation, right? You have to know these criteria. Step two, create a study schedule. You have to divide your study time accordingly to the amount of material you need to cover. You have to allocate more time to difficult subjects and topics. You have to also seek uh, achievable daily and weekly study goals, right? You have to just set achievable goals right step three gather study materials right or having an information about your exam you have to gather all the textbook you have to gather all the notes and the study resources you create for effective preparation right and you have to utilize online resource uh, pre maybe uh, previous exam paper and reference books as additional study material right and step four maybe break down the material into manageable chunks right break down your material into manageable chunks right break down the syllabus or the courses into smaller topic or chapter to make the learning process more manageable right to just decrease the stress to the overwhelming right so you have to tackle one topic at a time Ensure you understood it completely before it is moving on, right? You have to make sure that you are understanding the topic before you move to another chapter or another topics, right? Step five, take effective notes, right? Take effective notes. While studying, take concise and organized notes for summaries, important concepts, right? You have to highlight key points, make tables or diagrams for better understanding, right? You have to review these notes regularly for better retention, right? Step six, practice with paper, with past papers, right? Past paper, past exams, right? And sample questions. Practice, or you have to just uh, evaluate your knowledge within the past papers, past questions, past exams, right? The previous exams that are taken by others, right? You have to solve previous exam paper to get a sense of exam patterns and the type of question asked, right? And also you have to practice sample questions to improve your problem solving skill and the time management, right? Because in the exam, not only the questions, the time management also crucial, right? You have to use the time effectively, right? You have to uh, adjust the time required with the times that you use for each questions, right? That's the crucial thing that you need to consider. Step seven, seek clarification if you need it, right? You have to seek help from teachers, maybe classmates or maybe online forums when you come across difficult concepts or problems. Because in this time, it is just, everything is easy. You can just Google it, everything you need to, uh, and you can just search from YouTube, right? You can understand everything faster, right? You can ask anything that you want from YouTube or from Google, and you can understand it easier, right? You have to, uh, you have to clear any doubts as soon as possible to ensure a strong foundation in the subject, right? Step eight, create a revision plan. Create a revision plan. You have to set aside a ample time for revision before the exam, right? Before the exam is reached, you have to just uh, create a time for revision. You have to revise the materials that you have covered before, 
you have to revise important topic formulas key points from all subjects right you have to summarize your notes create a flashcard or use mnemonic techniques for better recall for better retention for better understanding and to remember better and faster right step nine take breaks and stay healthy this is also very important right you have to take regular breaks during the study sessions to avoid burnout and just make uh, to maintain focus right you have to get enough sleep get uh, nutrition meal and exercise regularly to just keep your mind and body in good shape right you have to also good uh, have a good exercise regular exercise also very important step 10 test yourself test yourself right you have to take mock test or you have to create a practice quizzes to assess your knowledge and to identify areas of improvement you have to evaluate yourself right you have to review your performance and work on weak areas before the actual exam is getting right you have to review yourself step 11 you have to stay positive and confident right this is the last step and you need to have after you prepare right you have to believe in yourself and have confidence in your abilities avoid just comparing yourself to others and stay confi confident and focused on your own progress right remember effective exam preparation requests just consistent effort discipline and positive mindset right so i think you enjoyed the video so don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel for more content like this so i will see you next time